Okay, good morning. We're back in the server room again. We've got another problem today, which is quite good. I like problems. This is a power over Ethernet switch. You've seen it. This is an Ethernet cable. This is for beginners. Um, I'm no trained person. I just worked this out myself. <laughs> um, Self-taught. Anyway, so this switch not only does it do data, but it also sends power down the Ethernet cable. So if you've got an AP that requires power, which is one of these, which is an access point, Wi-Fi, then all you do is plug it in and it should power it up. Give me a second. Okay, it plugs in the side there. If we flip it over, there should be a light on. And there we go. There's the light. <clears throat> um, what will happen, this will power up, it'll wait, and it'll find other APs local to it and connect, and then you've got your system working up and running. Now we have a big AP which has failed. So I'll take you to that now, and we're gonna do it a test on it because we don't know why. Okay, so this is the big one. This is on the side of a building, and this projects Wi-Fi across the field, so they can do whatever they want with their laptops or whatever. They can connect to the network and everything. But it's failed. Um, so I've stripped it, took it down. Two reasons we had to, because we had some work being done, but also because it's failed, like I said. So we're going to test it now. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to get an injector, which I'll show you what that is. This is an injector. Okay, or you can, you can call it a transformer if you wish, but they call them injectors. Um, and what you do, you put power into it there, and then you have two cables now. You have one coming from your network, which is here. That's coming around. And what you do with that, you plug that into the in. Okay, and they're all labeled there. So you plug that into in because that's your data coming in But what we need to do is charge it so this device then gets a charge So you need a separate cable which is another they're all the same just a different color. Okay, and that goes into out All right, then that will plug into this which I'll show you in a sec We've got to put it together and then you plug this into the wall socket and Then this should send power down this cable to power this unit. So let me just put this together and we'll come back. Okay, so we probably don't need to do this, but I'm gonna show you how they come apart anyway, just for, the, just for the video. So there we go, two screws. Hold on. So that one goes in there, you can't go wrong. This one goes in there. I'll put these together first. A few seconds. Okay, pop the screws on, and then you've got two push fit. And then screw on. And these are external ones, and they're waterproof. I'm only doing this because it'll probably work without putting these on, but I'm doing it because I'm testing the whole unit to make sure, because we've got to refit this soon. Okay, there we go. So I'll do the other one, and we'll get back to you in a sec. So on the second one, because it's at the bottom, the actual antennas can be moved sideways. They're on pivots, they're on swivels. I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, let's line them up. And then, of course, the aerial does pivot. It's on a screw fix underneath. And that's it. So, the next thing is there's another, the other part, which is out on the field, of course, full left on the connection. There's a bung that goes in here, but you can see the RJ45 connector. So, now we've got to test this. Okay, there we go. Both aerials on, both antennas, whatever you want to call them. So, now we're going to put the power in, we'll turn it off. So, so now we're going to power up the injector. 
okay don't put him on yet until we put the cable in then we're going to drop the other end of the cable which is coming from the out into the in well the only part of the AP all right and then that's it so now we'll power it on and we should see so we get a fault light to start with that should go out and there we go so those two mean that that it's running beautifully that means there's no fault on the system and we have power to the AP let's have a look Alright, so we so far we know the AP isn't faulty, so I'm waiting for the lights to come on. So it must be a wire the other end that we've got to trace and find out where the brake is. Or as the injector, because the one over there where it's facing the field, it has one of these injectors, so probably the injector has failed. So this is just a way of um, diagnosing um, your APs actually. We'll just wait for the there we go, the green light now, the rest will start coming on. Um, so if anybody there found this interesting, please give it a thumbs up and a like. That would be great. It helps the channel a great deal. Um, I know some people are going to find this boring because it's not up there. It's not their cup of tea. But my channel is about doing a mixture of everything. So, yep, yeah, like to flash. So it's now looking. There we go. We have a full connection. So the device is working perfectly. Okay, that should turn green in a bit. Uh, yeah. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. That would be great. And. Um, yeah, we'll catch you in the next video. All good. Yeah. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Here we go. Full green. Just to prove. Working beautifully. Okay, once again, take care.